we are given the vector valued function r of t and asked to find the derivative. The given vector valued function r of t has components x of t, comma y of t, comma z of t, which means r prime of t will have components x prime of t, comma y prime of t, comma z prime of t. So to find the derivative, we need to differentiate each component with respect to t. Let's begin with the x component, where x of t equals three divided by the quantity negative five t minus seven. We need to find x prime of t, which requires the chain rule, where in this case u equals the denominator of negative five t minus seven, and therefore u prime is equal to negative five which means x of t is really equal to three divided by u, which equals three u to the power of negative one. And therefore, x prime of t is equal to negative three times u raised to the power of negative one minus one, which is negative two, times u prime, which is equal to negative three times the quantity negative five t minus seven to the power of negative two times negative five, Simplifying, let's move negative five t minus seven to the denominator, which will change the sign of the exponent, giving us the quantity negative five t minus seven squared in the denominator. In the numerator we have negative three times negative five, which is positive 15. So for r prime of t, we now know the x component is 15 divided by the quantity negative five t minus seven squared. And now let's find y prime of t on the next slide. y of t equals negative two t divided by the quantity three t squared plus four. To find this derivative, we won't be using the chain rule, we will be using the quotient rule shown here for review. Let's begin with the denominator. The denominator is the denominator squared, which is the quantity three t squared plus four squared. In the numerator we have the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator. Which means here we have the quantity three t squared plus four times the derivative of negative two t, which is negative two, and then minus the numerator of negative two t times the derivative of the denominator, the derivative of three t squared plus four is six t. And now we simplify. Distributing negative two gives us negative six t squared minus eight and then negative two t times six t is negative 12 t squared, but we're subtracting negative 12 t squared, which simplifies to plus 12 t squared. And our final step, combining like terms in the numerator, negative six t squared plus 12 t squared is six t squared. We have six t squared minus eight. The denominator remains the quantity three t squared plus four squared. So this is y prime of t, the y component of r prime of t. Let's go back to the previous slide and record the y component of r prime of t. We have the quantity six t squared minus eight divided by the quantity three t squared plus four squared. And now let's find the derivative of the z component, where z of t equals negative four t squared divided by the quantity negative t to the third minus seven. And once again, this is going to require the quotient rule. So z prime of t is equal to, again, let's start with the denominator. The denominator is the denominator squared, so we have the quantity negative t cubed minus seven squared. And the numerator is the denominator of negative t cubed minus seven times the derivative of the numerator, 
the derivative of negative 4t squared is negative 8t, and we have minus the numerator of negative 4t squared times the derivative of the denominator, the derivative of negative t cubed minus 7 is negative 3t squared. And now we simplify. Distributing negative 8t gives us positive 8t to the fourth plus 56t. And then we have negative 4t squared times negative 3t squared. That's positive 12t to the fourth, but we're subtracting, so we have minus 12 t to the fourth. Simplifying one last time by combining like terms in the numerator. 8t to the fourth minus 12t to the fourth is negative 4t to the fourth. The numerator is negative 4t to the fourth plus 56t, which is the z component of r prime of t. And now we have our prime of t. I hope you found this helpful.